Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Dorahim. We are back again with another great, amazing tech video. The video of today is all about Android 12. For some of you guys, if you didn't know, the Google Keynote of 2021, it was really kind of impressive. We got to see different kind of new features on the Android 12. So I'm here today to share with you guys the beta version, which I installed on the Google Pixel 3a, and it's really kind of impressive, but beware, disclaimer, they're bugs. If you wanna just like install it, just know that they're bugs. And we're gonna see what's happening throughout this kind of new UI because it's a material U, which if you remember, on the Android 5.0, it was Android Lollipop. We came from Android Lollipop, it's a great kind of journey, where it was 2014, but right now, it's a little bit kind of redesigned a bit, a little bit like rounded not a bit it's fully roundish and getting that kind of samsung niche iphone niche layout looking it's really impressive i'm not saying we copied because i'm an android fan to be honest i have to uh, say that everything is legitimate but no 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 if we copy it i'll say we copy it but i think this is a collaboration between samsung and google like how they said it and i think there is a little bit like one UI-ish on the layout. But anyways, let's get started throughout this kind of video today and see what's happening throughout that. So I'll showcase with you guys here so as we can see heads to heads what's going on. So as you can see guys, we're inside the UI. You can see at the first glance that the UI is just the same, right? Now, squeezing it down, you can see things are popping out. To be honest here, things are really kind of becoming great. I like the new notification, which is quite not bad, but things start to get ugly when you just scroll it down because everything is now shattered and vividly, but it's quite not bad because the roundish, I wish they could just enhance a bit enhancement. And I think still we are in the better version of the program, so they'll be coming some new kind of updates. Let's see on the setting side, what's happening on the setting side whoa some new kind of redesign right yeah some new kind of redesign it's really kind of impressive but this looks like one ui if you come throughout the samsung and you know one ui how it is you'll definitely feels like you have dropped down somewhere on one ui let's be honest google another kind of stuff it's all about the way these kind of features are enhanced to be honest if you just like tap somewhere you can see there's a certain animation popping up certain animation which it's really kind of impressive i like these kind of animations if you remember guys throughout cyanage and mod back in the days the custom roms the way we used to flash the roms and enjoy the custom android it was really impressive i i say it every day i'm not saying i think I think but i say this every day that android of cyanogen mod was ahead of the game a uh, android 15 times or 20 times why am i saying this because they had tons and tons of features which right now we're seeing them to be honest let's be honest let's be real google let's be real android fans you know what i mean cyanogen back in the days it covered these kind of features which we are seeing today and some of the features which they're not there well you know what I mean. So we are seeing a transition right now. This kind of transitioning, you can see if you're scrolling down, icons, they start to overlap and they're just squeezing onto spacing, which it's really kind of legitimate. Another kind of stuff is the widgets. They say they're improving on the widget side to give us more live widgets, which it's really kind of impressive. If I go to um, like Google Drive or Fit, you can see this kind of live, um, live, widgets which are impressive you can sign into your account and stuff like that i don't want to do it right now let me remove that first and you can add another kind of widget which it's really impressive you can see like clock there you can add clock on your widget which it's impressive another kind of feature which i like it when you slip your phone there is a kind of clock which if you have no notification you're gonna see it popping up on your screen and it's really kind of impressive i like the new kind of redesign of the of the layout you can see that kind of buggy it's popping up right now and there is quite impressive throughout the dial let's be honest i like this it's too much enhanced that's why i'm saying it's a one ui operating system 
tossed in on the pixel and enhanced throughout themes which it's really kind of impressive another kind of feature which it's really kind of impressive throughout google let's jump in on this kind of side of um, display or styles and wallpaper now the style of wallpaper stay the same still nothing's new nothing has changed so you can see just everything is the same you can just select your style you want you can select the color so they talked about ad adaptive of your background of a wallpaper will affect the whole notification center and it will change colors and enhance things here and there so we are hoping that on the fall whereby android is now fully stable so as we can get that kind of update it will be so much impressive and i think we're gonna toss in because this is still on the beta program and we are seeing bunch and bunch of upcoming new features so yeah another kind of stuff is on the playing music so if you're like me using spotify i can say it's a great thing good to go using spotify because whenever you're like playing a music to be honest if i'm playing this kind of music right now and i go to the notification center you can see that music how much it looks i like that kind of styling i like that kind of widget the way they enhance throughout the notification center it's really impressive really nice i really like that it's really good another kind of stuff you can add through our notification center i didn't talk about tiles it's all about tiles how you can arrange tiles the tiles right now they're really bigger and you can see guys how much they are you can extra dim you can live caption you can arrange rearrange you can bring this one on top you can you can it was there definitely but the only thing has changed is the ui it's the user interface you cannot use the better version as your daily because you'll experience some of the apps not having a good runtime throughout your phone and yeah i think those are the don'ts throughout this kind of android tool so let's just wait for officially android um 12 to be stable on around november or december somewhere there so as we can get that kind of update and enjoy a smoothness throughout android let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about the android 12 is it something for you or you're like man i'm still stuck on android even 9 8 they're really in incredible and another kind of stuff as you know google usually names their android and we are crossing the fingers for this one they didn't announce anything on the keynote about naming android 12 to be a certain thing and i don't know even me i don't know i have no idea and i think it's legit man that's what's up so thank you guys for watching i'll be seeing your smiley faces on the next one as always stay sharp and creative kudos guys peace